Hey YouTube, today I want to talk about some innovating photography that was released lately by the Toronto Raptors. You can see their Instagram page here. It popped up on my feed and I immediately said, oh man, this is great. They've got about 3.2 million followers who saw this, but I want to help spread the love and appreciate what happened here, what's going on, and talk about it a little bit. So to start off, it wasn't hard to find out that uh, a company agency studio called Tier Zero was responsible for these photos, an agency here in Toronto, and they really just nailed these photos. Um, the execution, the idea, all just perfect, well-timed, on point, and we'll just take a quick look here. So here's the Toronto Raptors, their whole squad, uh, and they've got all kinds of different images and attitudes, moody lighting, upside down shots, shots from below, uh, a lot of wide angle, shots which we'll talk about in a little bit but just it it just really stood out and it's something so different and it's different because the industry that they're in right here is it's like sports photography not live action sports photography but sports celebrity portraits um i guess you know whatever you want to call it but we understand what we're talking about here and this is an industry that really hasn't innovated in a very very long time Whenever you think of sports photography, you know, Slam Magazine, stuff you see online, team portraits, it's run-in-the-mill, boring, the same old, same old. And I'll show you an example in a minute. But let's just take a look at one here. You know, here's Chris Boucher. Got this tiny little basketball and this big head and this giant arm. Uh, really, really wild, exaggerated features for this guy who's probably like seven feet tall. And he's in this little boxed room. And it just looks wild. It just shows you the size of these guys and the length and the athleticism, all these detail shots. Oh, like, look at this, this is insane. Did you ever picture a basketball photo like this for your team? No, this immediately jumps out to me uh, as innovative, creative. It's a huge risk that they took that I think paid off. So congrats to them for this incredible opportunity, opportunity that they got and also just nailing the execution. So when I think sports photography of celebrities like this, I think of a guy like, you know, Joel Grimes. Uh, I think everybody kind of knows him. We all know his lighting. You know, he markets endlessly on all the social media platforms. And I kind of just gloss over it now because it's been around for so long. And we all know his style. He, he has, you know, a light on the left and a light on the right, throws on a grid, blasts them with light on, on the sides to do this strong side lighting so that you get this like really strong highlight silhouette on both sides of the body. And then it looks like he composites, composites them into different scenes, you know, shot on white, and then it goes on uh, this fake background. And the whole thing just looks fake and um, it's overdone. This look has been around for too long. Culture has really elapsed this style and it hasn't innovated. And unfortunately, just so many people are doing this style. We see it over and over and over again. Uh, I think as soon as people think sports athlete, they immediately go to this and it's so played out in my opinion. And it, and it just looks fake. Like this highlight doesn't belong in this background. Uh, I think we're, we've all learned enough about photography on how things work now and what real life looks like. We all have amazing cell phones. We know that this isn't real now. It, it doesn't work anymore. So we've got to try something different. So thank you, uh, tier zero for trying something different. And, and pushing our boundaries and pushing our limits and what's acceptable, pushing what we accept as photography uh, in this field. So let's, let's dive a little deeper. So why did Tier Zero try something like this? What made them go for this opportunity? Well, culture was shifting. Let's take a look at a piece of creative I did recently um, of the Toronto Raptors, <laughs> interestingly enough. I took in last year's you know 2021 media of their rookie Scotty Barnes flying in the air here an incredibly boring shot if you think about it so good on good on the Raptors for seeing that they needed to innovate in this area and what I did is I you know elongated his arms just like you saw with tier zero gave him a big head did the NBA jam kind of bobblehead look so I was inspired by that video game but I did this two years ago so culturally I can't remember why I did it. I guess just you know history of uh, the video game inspired me and made me wanted to try it but I already I, 
I saw that something needed to be done here. It was too boring. It needed something interesting. And then the following year, this year, uh, earlier, I created this photo of the same, uh, same athlete, but it's a shot that I took from Slam Magazine. So there's the original shot there. I don't know if I can pause it for a sec. So there's the original shot. Uh, they shot it a little bit wide, but not that much. And I just exaggerated the heck out of it. And I think what happened is when I did this photo and I posted it on Instagram, it gave me, it started to feed me images of other creative people doing this type of work. And it led me to Troy Brown, who is this really, really awesome creative artist who again, exaggerates features. So it kind of, I think the AI probably read what I was doing and started to get to give me like, like creative people. So that's what inspired me to do the second image of Scotty Barnes. And I, I did his exact technique. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a Photoshop expert. I could immediately see what Troy does to his photos and just replicate it in my own way. Uh, and I loved the results. It was really awesome. Like Troy is just an incredible, I'm so inspired by what he does. Another artist, I've made this video because I want to celebrate this type of artwork and what these people are doing. Uh, just really cool exaggeration of features. I think we're so inundated with just regular photography on so many social media platforms that we need to see something fresh and in our face to really grab our attention and just snap us out of, uh, out of reality into what I'll call this hyper realism, whatever you want to establish the name as. So jumping back into, um, you know, the Toronto Raptors here, Tier Zero had to do something hyper real to grab attention, to, to push viewers to see their work, but they still had to keep it culturally acceptable. You can't go so far where this is unrecognizable, you know, Troy Brown style. This would be too far for the Toronto Raptors. People, uh, the mainstream audience wouldn't get it. They'd be like, whoa, what are you guys doing? So they kind of went backed off a little bit and I think what they did is they probably, you know, if they were using a full frame camera, which I'm familiar with, they probably shot this at about 18 to 20 millimeters uh, and they got in really close to these guys. So let's take a look at like Otto Porter Jr. here. And you can see his head has like a funny shape. Um, I'm pretty sure his forehead is not that small, but when you get in close to the wide angle lens, you see the giant shoulder uh, and when they're tilting up at him, everything at the top and the bottom kind of gets skewed. Uh, they shoot really low. They're always like sitting on the floor, uh, looking up at these guys. That's a very classic celebrity um, sports athlete type photo. You make somebody look heroic and you shoot from the bottom up. But when they use the wide angle lens up close, it also exaggerates all of the features that are closest to the lens and it shrinks everything that's far away. So these guys are already like close to seven feet tall. So you can imagine what, you know, an 18 millimeter lens does. It just, it gives even wilder proportions and it's just stunning what they've done. And what's interesting is if you look at shoe photography these days, this is what they're doing. They get in close to the shoe so that you can see the style, but you also want to see the model. So you need to shoot wide and close to get the shoe and the model into view. So essentially they've kind of, again also adopted what shoe photography that industry is doing so they've got this urban shoe photography blend going on uh, that I think is just so inspiring and, and cool uh, I love the the Chris one we looked at let's take a look at Scotty uh, again one of my favorite athletes here just giant broad shoulders he's a really muscular guy so they they played off of everybody's kind of core features guys probably got massive hands to grip the ball, just exaggerating everything, standing like a giant. And then they, I think they also did some some kind of more regular, uh, regular focal lenses also, just to capture maybe a, a more standard professional looking shot. And all the shots play off of what that athlete is known for. So you know, Gary Trent is known for his tattoos and his cool hair and his. His cool style, you know, it's like he's posing like a rock star or like a model. And then again, the shoe inspiration photography, clearly drawing upon that uh, as an inspiration. You know, OG is a bit of a 
quiet, strange, unknown guy, so he does a lot of upside down stuff. I think that really plays into his uh, kind of funny style that if you don't know him, it's probably really hard to understand what he's like. Let's see, you know, Kem Birch, a big, strong, kind of brute of a guy. He's the muscle on the team. So everything is tough. You know, the lip and the muscles and the crossed arms and the close-up mug. And the super strong, you know, warrior pose. And then Pascal, um, you know, always known for yelling on the court. He's, he's loud, he's in your face, he's aggressive. He's their leader, he's, you know, always talking big smile I think they just did a great job so I don't think we need to go any further with that I just wanted to you know highlight this for you guys celebrate it explain it why it's important why it's happening and just say you know congrats to everybody who was working on this stuff uh, you know best of luck to all of them thank you for not being afraid to try something new in this industry and pushing us all forward and innovating Really, really appreciate it, and I challenge everybody to do the same. So, thanks.